Loves. Today we're going to be unboxing this Hyger um, vertical submersible heater. This one is rated, this one's the 200 watts. Always great packaging, nice and safe in there. So this is the 200 one. This one is rated for 26 to 48 gallons. Always remember that it can be a degree off, up or down. It is the vertical heater. And here they have, so you can put a cup, the suction cups on this side or either on this side. We are going to be hooking it up on this side because we're putting it on the left side of our tank. It is really actually nice and easy to put on these suction cups. All right, so it looks like we got a nice long cord here. There's a nice base for it so I can sit. Here is our button to set it. There was, you don't want to set it up anyways, but your vertical ways. And it suggests to at least put it five inches below your water surface. Um, you have your fault codes. E1 is the heating rod is exposed to the air. Solution, place the heating rod back inside the water. Digital temperature flash. The water temperature is higher than 96 degrees Fahrenheit. And then you can wait. Your solution is you lower your temperature back down. And a dash dash means that temperature sensor is short circuited and to discard the heater. All right. So I will show you all how to get this set up exactly as it itself. This knob right up here, if this gets out of the water, it will automatically shut off. So when this board is out of the water, this little piece right here, the heater will turn off, power off. Before you ever plug it in, always make sure your heater is in place and fully submerged. Once you plug it in, it will tell you the temperature of your current water temperature. So currently our tank is set at 79 degrees. To set, you're going to push the set button that I showed y'all before and it should flash. So right now this is set to 90 degrees, we're going to want it to probably like 84, 85. So once it's flashing you want to keep going. at 85 then release and it should go back once you have it um, once you set it it will then heat up and the red light indicates that it is heating and then once that is done and it reaches its desired temperature it will turn bright green if the heater has been working for more than 24 hours and the temperature is 2 degrees more or 2 degrees less than the set temperature, check that if the 1, the power has been switched on, 2, if the temperature has been set correctly, 3, if the heater is submerged under the water level, 4, if the water is circulating well, do not place the heater directly under the filter spillway. Remember to make sure it is vertical only for this one 
and to make sure that that board that I showed you before always stays under the water level and if it does come out it will automatically shut off which I think is a really good feature. And that's it my loves and I hope you all learned something new and y'all enjoy.